हेलो फ्रेंड्स आज हम खेल रहे हैं क्रिकेट 22 इंडिया वर्सेस ऑस्ट्रेलिया जो कि टी ट्वेंटी मैच है आज जो है मैं इंडिया इंडिया की टीम मैंने ली है और मैं जो हूँ आज चेस करने जा रहा हूँ ऑस्ट्रेलिया ने जो है मुझे 175 का टारगेट दिया है 20 ओवरों में तो चलें देखते हैं कि आज इंडिया जो है ये चेस कर पाता है कि नहीं ये बिल्कुल लेटेस्ट मैच है चलें शुरू करते हैं between Australia and India. I'm Mike Atherton and alongside me today is Mel Jones, Ali Mitchell, Ian Healy and the Silver Fox himself, David Gower. Well, others, thanks to that warm introduction, I, for one, am looking forward to the day's play. I've been down pitch side to look at the conditions and looking... Not sure what's running through the captain's minds here. This pitch will only get easier to bat on, so why bat now? The bowlers could have a field day. Waiting. Can't get that outside the ring field. No runs on that occasion. Got into position nicely just too early on the shot. Couldn't find a gap. Wait there. Just can't seem to get the ball away. That's the third dot. Times it nicely. Yep. Just strayed a little bit to the leg side, and that's been... Th Finch, I don't think, will be too happy with their bowler at the moment. Great timing, right off the meat of the bat. A fantastic shot off the back foot, really well timed. Everyone just had to stand, watch and admire. No pressure as they found a gap. Just pivoted onto the back foot, so easily done to knock it behind square. Hit that hard, nailed it. Well, that was just textbook. Finds the space and power to lift that ball over the top, and it just keeps going. Middle that one, great yep. timing. Well, you can't fault that shot. Nicely played, and it was four runs all the way. Sometimes you've just got to accept it and move on. Wait. Gone, it's a good yeah. catch. First wicket gone, the opening partnership is broken. You can see the relief on the bowler's face. Another quick wicket and they'll be into the middle order. Coming to the wicket, they'll be looking to play within the V early and expand as they get settled. Thought it got past them, but a fantastic dive to cut it off. End of the over, four off it. India are 24 for one. Effortless, a gift really, floated it up there and dealt with. That's a very difficult shot to get right, straight back at the bowler with a lot of pace and the covering fielder had...
Good running, just fine in... Flew away with pace, brilliant timing. There was no doubt about that one whatsoever. It was ever so well hit over the boundary rope for six. The fielder didn't have to move. Wait there. End of the over. 11 runs coming from it. India, 39. Easiest catches you'll see. So that's the third wicket down, trudging off the field. They're well and truly into the middle order now. And with that wicket, the new batter will mark their guard. They just need to rotate the strike early on as they get settled. Again, yes! see you later. Two wickets on the trot. It's another wicket, the fourth. Sometimes you just have to accept that you couldn't do anything about a delivery. Lots of pressure coming into bat. We'll have to wait, though, to face their first ball. Nicely ran, working the ball away into... Yep. That's great fielding. That ball was flying. Did well just to get it down to... ...in that over. Certainly something to build on. Yep. Great shot. It was in the air for a long time, but four bounced just inside the rope. Yep. Beautifully played through the leg side off the back foot. A couple on offer here. A 54 for four. Yep. There's trouble here. Onto the front foot and punched it nicely. Would have hoped to find the rope. That's right off the meat of the bat. Goes with it and helps it on its way. Didn't bother keeping the hook shot down. Out. Yes. Yes. Good catch. Starting to get interesting in the Randwick end. Hit that hard, nailed it. Just a little bit of room given. The power was immense. That has flown over the boundary. Always difficult to focus after what happened last ball. But you just got to stay positive and believe the wicket will come. Brilliant diving stop. Wait. Power and precision in that shot. It was just a little bit too full and it was beautifully timed.
Stoinis shouldn't be too worried about that last ball. They've got them playing their shots, just need to tighten their areas now. This should be close. A bit of a mix-up, they'll need to improve their communication. They find themselves seven wickets down. It's about now you need someone to stand up and stick around at the crease. A big opportunity. They've worked hard in recent weeks. They should have the confidence to... Yep. Stark did very nicely out there on the boundary. Tucked it nicely into the gap. Pick up a single. Red the edge. Huge appeal. That's gone. Fine catch by the wicket keeper. It's the sort of dismissal that sees the momentum swing back to the bowler. Gone, but not for many. The field will come up now, you'd think. Pressure should definitely be on the new batter who strides to the middle. They will be looking for another quick wicket. Edged! They certainly don't feel like they've got anything on that, but almost every fielder is asking the question. Gone! Another one goes. Two wickets and two balls, and they're on a roll now. A trudge back to the pavilion, a disappointing display in the end. For someone with such batting skills, this goes down as a fail. Good bit of timing there. Good batting, lovely timing. Hardly even lent on it. Was always headed for the boundary. Nice way to get off the mark. Madness! Complete air shot. That was a slower delivery, played too early, and it went straight through to the keeper. that seals the game, never in doubt. That win gives Australia a 1-0 lead in the series. That's the end of our broadcast for now. So Australia jo hai wo ye match jeet chuka hai. 175 chase karna tha jo main nahi kar saka. बहरहाल बहुत मज़ा आया ये बिल्कुल लेटेस्ट पैच है बिल्कुल लेटेस्ट पैच में मैंने खेली और मुझे काफ़ी इम्प्रूवमेंट लगी है आप लोग कमेंट्स में बताएं कि आप लोगों को मेरा ये गेम प्ले कैसा लगा अगर आपको अच्छा लगा तो आप लाइक और सब्सक्राइब ज़रूर कर दीजिएगा शुक्रिया अल्लाह हाफिज़